Uh, as a PACOM commander, I have the extraordinary privilege of leading approximately 375,000 soldiers, sailors, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, uh, airmen, and, and uh, DOD civilians serving our nation around half the globe. These dedicated patriots are really doing an amazing job, and thanks to them, America remains a security partner of choice in the region. That's important because I believe that America's future security and, and economic prosperity are indelibly linked to the Indo-Asia Pacific region, uh, and it's a, it's a region that's poised at a strategic nexus where opportunity meets the four challenges of North Korea, China, Russia, and ISIS. It's clear to me that ISIS is a threat that must be destroyed now. The main focus of our coalition's effort is rightfully in the Middle East and North Africa, but as we eliminate ISIS in these areas, some of the surviving fighters will likely repatriate to their home countries uh, in the Indo-Asia Pacific. And what's worse, they'll be radicalized and weaponized. So we must eradicate ISIS before it grows in the PACOM area of responsibility. Then there's North Korea, which remains the most immediate threat to the security of the United States and our allies uh, in the Indo-Asia Pacific. This week, North Korea threatened Australia with a nuclear strike. A powerful reminder to the entire international community that North Korea's missiles point in every direction. The only nation to have tested nuclear devices in this century, North Korea has vigorously pursued an aggressive weapons test schedule with more than 60 ballistic missile events in recent years. With every test, Kim Jong-un moves closer to his stated goal of a preemptive nuclear strike capability against American cities and he's not afraid to fail in public. Defending our homeland is my top priority, so I must assume that the Kim Jong-un's nuclear claims are true. I know his aspirations certainly are, and that should provide all of us a sense of urgency, urgency to ensure PACOM and U.S. Forces Korea are prepared to fight tonight with the best technology on the planet. That's why General Brooks and I are doing everything possible to defend the American homeland and our allies in the Republic of Korea and Japan. That's why the Rock us Alliance decided last July to deploy THAAD, that's a terminal high-altitude area defense system, which will be operational in the coming days and able to, to better defend South Korea against the growing North Korea threat. That's why the USS Carl Vinson Carrier Strike Group is back on patrol in Northeast Asia. That's why we must continue to debut America's newest and best military platforms in the Indo-Asia Pacific. That's why we continue to emphasize trilateral cooperation between Japan, South Korea, and the United States, a partnership with a purpose, if there ever was one. In confronting the reckless North Korean regime, it's critical that we're guided by a strong sense of resolve, both privately and publicly, both diplomatically and militarily. As President Trump and Secretary Mattis have made clear, all options are on the table. We want to bring Kim Jong-un to his senses not to his knees.